All right, we've got the pre-cut kit for the C8 driver's side door. Um, this does have the mirror cut out, so there's no disassembly required. We've already went ahead and clay barred the door. We're gonna spray our slip solution, top to bottom. All right, once we've got that, we're gonna back roll our film. So separate your film. We're gonna work front to back. So go ahead and roll it up, start peeling, spray as you peel. So now we're going to squeegee off this little top corner right here. Give us a little attack point. So we're going to go under the mirror. And we're going to start back rolling our liner Just like that, holding your film in place. Now this piece, you want to be careful. It uh, it splits into two, so we have the separation where the door handle is. So make sure we get that off. Now we can spray our film our slip solution pick up from the bottom go ahead and lay that back down onto your door we're gonna pick up this whole side right here and once again spray our film and this is where we're going to line up all of our corners and our tack points now we're going to start tacking down our corners. We're gonna work on the top corner, spray your film and your top corner. Just get that lined up. Grab your squeegee, squeegee that out. Same thing with our bottom corner. Squeegee all that out. Now, because we have the mirror cut out, we're going to line up our inner part of the mirror with the top edge of our door. Go ahead and tack down that corner to do our Top corner of the other side of the door, spray our film, line that up. You wanna make sure your film is always moving freely, so spray some slip solution if you need to. All right, we've got it exactly where we want it, so we are going to line up our corners. Going to center our cut around this body line, around the handle. Once you've got that all lined up, pick up this corner, spray your tag solution, get that lined up. Just like that. Spray our bottom edge, some tack, just so it doesn't move. Just like that. Lift up this edge. Some tack solution in there. Now we're gonna line up the inside of the door handle. So same process, line up your corners. Pick up your film and spray more slip solution if you need to. Prevent it from sticking. So that's what you want, your film moving freely. Once you got our tag points down, go ahead and line everything up. Our film down, follow your outside wrapped edge, and go all the way to the bottom. Now that we've got all that set, we can start tacking all this under the door handle. Peel your film back, just like that. Grab your tack solution, and we get to tack the top edge. Squeegee on this body line. And you just work your way up. So where we have this dip in the middle of our, I guess the top edge of our door, squeegee with your hand and follow it with your squeegee. If it lifts just a bit on the edges, grab some tack, spray your tack solution there. Just squeegee and hold it just like that. So now we're gonna finish up our top edge.
this point, you have completed the top part of the door. So now we gotta work on the bottom. So now we're going to pick up our film, spray some slip solution. So you wanna be generous with the slip solution in this area because of the deep curve we have in the door. And with your hand, you wanna start swiping out all this excess air. Now we're gonna start squeegeeing it. And once you get to the curve, we're gonna grab our tack solution. Spray it and the same process. We're going to squeegee out with the body line. Now we're gonna move on over this side and same thing, follow that body line. Shoot some tack solution in there. We're going to squeegee all the way down, just like that. Now we're moving to the bottom part of the door. Go ahead and pick up the film. At this point, everything is lined up. So go ahead and shoot tack solution directly on the film and the bottom part of the door. Now we can lay the rest of the film. Just like that. At this point, you're done with the entire door. We're going to work the top edge. Get rid of those fingers. Grab your squeegee. Squeegee up and hold it. Just like that. Fingers are gone. So at this point, grab some of your slip solution. Mist the door. And this is gonna be our final squeegee. So we're going to pass through the whole door. And what we're doing is we're ensuring there's no excess moisture left over that will dry out and mark the film. And there's none. So at this point you are completed with the C8 door. If you have any leftover edges or fingers, wait for them to dry out and then go ahead and roll over the film around the edge, wrap the edge, just like that. So you wanna roll around the edge, hold your squeegee there for a couple seconds, let the adhesive set. Pretty much done. As far as these wrapped edges go, once they completely dry out, go ahead, open the door, wrap the edges around and seal it with the heat gun. All right, so once you've completed the install, you've wiped off your door, checked for any excess moisture. Now is the time to heat up and wrap your edges. What you're gonna need is a hard card with like a vinyl buffer and your heat gun. On the highest setting, we're going to go over the edges that are exposed. So just feel along the body lines if you have any exposed edges. We're gonna heat them up about three to four inches away with constant movement back and forth. All right, once you've got that, with our squeegee, we're going to roll over and just lay our edges down. Make sure we seal them so we don't get any moisture or dirt under that adhesive. Once you've got those edges locked down, we move on to the other side. So in this case, we have some on the top edge. So we're gonna do the same thing about three to four inches away, constant movement on your highest setting. Once we've got that, same thing, up and roll over. So you're going to apply that process around any wrapped edge or exposed edge you have on the door. Every install will vary based on where you tacked and how low you went, how high you went on the top edge or the bottom edge. But because these are precision cut, uh, pre-cut kits, you should only have maybe the top edge and the inner side of the door to wrap. So at that point, you've pretty much finished up the entire install. This is pretty much the final step, uh, sealing all the edges, making sure you have nothing exposed as far as adhesive goes, because as soon as you get any dirt or excess moisture behind that, it'll be pretty much impossible to get it to lay down. 